welcome to that time of the year when we love to hi guys welcome to my channel in this video today okay it is winter and we all must have faced flaky skin dry skin dehydrated skin and it is that time of the year when we do slugging and if you don't know what slugging is so i'm gonna tell you what like in details what is slugging and who should use it how should use it and who can use it and who cannot and yeah without any further ado let's get started but before starting this video uh we have crossed 1k subscribers and god i'm i'm just really so excited for this thank you guys and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and click the bell icon along yeah alongside and uh, you'll get updated with my videos without any further ado let's get started so yeah first what is slugging so when basically we use some petrol atom product mostly vaseline because in india we mostly see vaseline as a petrol atom product how should your skincare routine be like when you are slugging okay first cleanse your skin very nicely very properly with a face wash and you can absolutely double cleanse if you want to next you need to use a moisturizer if you want you can use serum serum should be like hyaluronic acid or niacinamide or peptide alpha butin serum next you you need to use a non comedogenic moisturizer and finally finish it off with the slugging but when we use petrolatum product in our last skincare step that is called slugging but first is it safe to use absolutely like slugging is the safest way to lock hydration to lock the moisture into your skin and basically uh, as slugging we are talking about slugging um, we use like we generally use 100% pure petroleum jelly that is vaseline and vaseline is an 100% occlusive and i have made a dedicated review regarding vaseline and how you can use it not on your chap lips basically but in multiple ways uh, if you haven't watched this video i'll link it down in the i button you can watch it there but yeah now let's continue slugging so when we are talking about slugging you might think who can use it basically all skin type can use it but if you have extremely oily skin or if you have acne prone skin or if you have fungal acne then don't use it or you can do a patch test but um, i'm telling you like for best results don't use if you have oily extremely oily skin or fungal acne skin uh, you can you may you like extremely oily skin people can slug in the winter time but in summer never no so what are the benefits of slugging yeah vaseline i mean yeah it is mostly vaseline here so vaseline is an 100% occlusive it means it won't let anything evaporate from your face like everything you are using it's under your skin so this is a great way if you have eczema if you have dry skin problem if in winter you see you know uh, dry flecks most people experience dry flecks from like uh, from here they are like lips under their lips like mostly here mostly for that purpose you can use vaseline big but but there is a con also vaseline doesn't provide you hydration so you cannot rely on its own you have to use a good moisturizer underneath it if we are talking about slugging uh, can we use slugging every single day yeah you can use it every single day but it depends on your skincare routine like do not like absolutely do not use vaseline or i should say do not slug the term is funny right i mean do not slug if you are using actives such as retinoids salicylic acid aha vitamin c just do not use any kind of vaseline or slugging or aquaphor nothing on that day let me tell you why we do slugging mainly to make a barrier to make a film on our skin that yeah like don't let anything ever put it from my face so that's the main purpose of slugging but if we use any kind of actives or mostly exfoliating actives such as retinoid salicylic acid or exfoliating serum uh, it might cause you irritation or micro cuts because you you are like blocking the area you are creating a film over that area so it doesn't like it will penetrate deep into your skin and you you really don't want it because retinoid is a like really high power active so we don't want to overdo it so that's why we sometimes use sandwich method while we use retinoids like put a moisturizer then use retinoid and then use another moisturizing layer and you are done so if we use retinoid or salicylic acid or any kind of exfoliating product and we top it off with vaseline or i should say as in a as a slugging product we might irritate our skin 
very much so so do not do slug when you are using such exfoliating actives next day how your morning skincare should be like so if you are doing slugging at night you absolutely need to use some kind of face wash or yeah mainly face wash in the daytime because when we slug we tend to create dead skin layer because uh, we have moisturizer we have an occlusive barrier on our face so our skin our face tends to create dead skin layer dead skin cells more than not using that thing so in the next day if we do not use face wash to wash it off we might end up with dead skin layer on our face and that is truly irritating that can give you acne that can damage your skin barrier and what not like you have to use a face wash in the next day like really you need to use it and uh, what are the appropriate seasons to slug basically winter like in winter everyone everyone should slug like there are numerous benefits of slugging it can give you a good skin healthy skin barrier because there are no moisture so your skin barrier is healthy and it can like take care of the dry itchy skin that you have it can take care of the eczema skin like the reddish thing or it can give you better results of what moisturizer you're using underneath so if you have Every, like mostly every skin category can slug in the winter time except fungal acne and acne prone skin but if you have dry skin that you can slug even in the summer time like i you i i slug under my eyes and and mostly here on my smile lines every season but mostly in winter i slug all over my face and because i i, I don't use eye creams i don't have eye creams honestly so what i do after uh, doing my skincare completely i take a pink moisturizer but uh, do not use a tons of moisturizer because um, excess thing is bad for your skin do not use if, like do not use a lot moisturizer maybe a pea size amount is good for your face and neck or uh, and then what i do i take a bit extra moisturizer and i use it under my uh, like from here and here and i take the vaseline and i slug mostly here and here because i don't want fine lines and wrinkles in such early ages and that's what my next point is how oily skin people can slug so if you have oily skin do not think of slugging all over your face no you can use you can do slugging under your eyes and on your smile lines to avoid the wrinkles uh, to get the extra hydration to extra bo boost of hydration in those areas so that it doesn't uh, like produce fine lines and wrinkles in early ages but you have to use a sunscreen because nothing can replace sunscreen if you are not using it i like i'm telling it every time but if you have acne prone skin you cannot do the slugging thing but if you still want to do the slugging as I recommend you like use it under your eyes and you can use on your smile lines but best to avoid that area you can only use it under your uh, eyes because it will like give you extra boost of like it will basically lock the moisture and you won't get any kind of fine lines yeah acne prone skin can basically do this okay so what I do most of the time that in my exfoliating days like when I'm using uh, exfoliating serum on my face or I'm exfoliating my face I take a vas I, I take Vaseline mainly i do slugging under my eyes and on my lips yeah I'm, I'm mentioning lips and all over my like i i kind of cover all my all over my eyelids because yeah that that portion we that portion are sensitive and we don't exfoliate that area usually and i kind of protect like i kind of make a protective barrier on my eyelids and under my eyes and on my lips so that it doesn't like get irritated through the exfoliating serum yeah so basically i use it in that way if you are old enough like if you are in your 30s or 40s god you need to slug on your neck and on your chest too like slugging is the best friend like slugging and sunscreen are the best thing that you can like go with in your 40s or if you are in your 30s trust me so if you are in your 40s and 30s and you are using retinoids in that day don't use slugging but we don't use retinoids every single day we don't use salicylic acid every single day but in in alternate days you can like if you are old enough uh, that you are seeing fine lines you and you are using retinoids you can still use vaseline or i should say you can still slug under your eyes and don't forget to slug your neck okay neck and chest because that area show the aging effect too so you need to even if you are in your 20s and in your teenage teenage age and you are not slugging your neck that's completely fine but if you are in your 30s and 40s girl you need to use you need to do slugging on your neck and on your chest too 
you are slugging then you have to clean your face really pop properly like really nicely we don't want any kind of dead skin layer or any kind of dirt dust while you are using your skincare product and dust and dirt are still on your face and you are using this baby right after your skincare routine trust me it is trapping the dirt on your face and that can give you uh, some uh, yeah that can irritate your skin basically and if you are like if you are planning on starting slugging then choose products that are non comedogenic and that won't give you any kind of acne or that are basically non irritating because if you are using comedogenic product and then you are slugging god it will give you blackheads and whiteheads the next day and if you are using some kind of products that are irritating that are not suiting you and you are still using it somehow you are checking it and then you are do, doing the slugging god it will worsen the case so if you are using uh, a product first and if you are trying some product then don't use slug that day or if you are like finding a serum really irritating for your skin don't slug that day because slugging can trap everything into your skin so whatever you are using if it is a bit irritating then it is going to give you like worse than like it is give you the worst irritation ever that you have seen or if you are using some comedogenic product and then it is like forget it you are getting white hairs the next so day i'm saying you cannot use retinol retinoids aha salicylic acid uh, benzoyl peroxide nothing um, on your slug day so what you can use actives okay so obviously you can use hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid is an all rounder you can use peptides you can use alpha arbutin you can use okay that's um, like mosquito bite you can use niacinamide so that that's are the four actives that can go easily with slugging uh, okay hyaluronic acid niacinamide alpha arbutin and peptides these fours are best with slugging days and that will make sure that you are getting enough moisture like if you are using hyaluronic acid serum you have to do the slugging because this will seal the moisture this will lock everything into your face and in the next day you'll see a difference like if you are not doing slugging then do it like around your eyes and trust me within uh, within a week you'll see extremely satisfying results and that are truly satisfying because i've seen it personally so that tiktok made the trend of slugging but trust me when i was a kid i used to slug uh, not knowing that it is it, it is going to call slugging in 2022 <laughs> i know that that winter is coming and i'm going to get dry flakes under my lips uh, behind my like everywhere and i used to get so sad and i used to use mustard oil in that area but trust me mustard oil like using mustard oil on on those area that was like highly irritating and my skin my skin used to burn a lot and then i used to use vaseline on that area and in the and in a few days um, i was like okay the dry flakes were healed and my mom used to do it on me but yeah that is a little story like when i was a kid i used to do slugging not knowing it was slugging oh. let's do a recap what is slugging basically slugging is a protective barrier that you do on your skin and you mostly use vaseline or aquaphor or anything that are 100% occlusive but i i can say vaseline vaseline is non allergic like you you can use vaseline like easily because it is non allergic it is non comedogenic it is not 100% occlusive but it is not it, it doesn't provide you any kind of moisture so you have to use a good emollient based moisturizer underneath it yeah where i was slugging so slugging is 100 like slugging is basically a film of layer that is preventing moisture go out or go in from your face it is best for older people but if you are in your teenage age you can use it as a eye mask like as an under eye cream and as a last step of your under eye cream if you have oily acne prone skin fungal acne skin do not absolutely do not use it but if you have oily skin you can do slugging in winter days and if you have dry to normal skin you can do slugging basically every season of the year uh, do not use retinol retinoid salicylic acid aha or any kind of exfoliating serum or uh, if you are using that serum don't use sl don't do slug that day but if you are using hyaluronic acid niacinamide peptides alpha arbutin you can like easily do the slugging thing when you are slugging you have to cleanse your skin really nicely because we don't want any kind of extra oil or dirt on our face and that can further irritate our skin and in the next day you have to wash your face you have to wash every possible uh, dead cell that 
that has created over the night on your skin and you have to clean it properly if you are planning on doing slugging you have to use non comedogenic product and non irritating product that's basically it and you will see the results within a week and you have to tell me in my comment section that if you are using this technique or if if you are planning on using this technique or if you had used this technique you have to tell me in everything in my comment section so that i can get to know you better so yeah that's all for today if you like this video don't forget to like this video okay that was an informative kind of video but please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video and uh, yeah